Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is MTG Gouldoon. Today I have a more uh, more unusual video than you than than the regular content that I usually put out. Usually I don't do this type of thing, but it really got me to thinking and I really appreciate the content that uh demo from the EDH deck building channel produced. He's a lot bigger than I am. He's a lot more, you know, in depth in the game than I am. He's just a, a great overall content creator, in my opinion. So, I mean, I just wanted to, you know, give my thoughts on something that he, uh, one of his videos that he had shared, the one of the most underplayed commander cards. I'm going to leave the, uh, the link to his video in the description if you want to go and check that out and kind of reference what I'm trying to say compared to what he's trying to say. But other than that, uh, the main thing that I see about what he was saying in this video is that uh i don't think that the way he considers this is the one of the better cards in magic one of the most underplayed is as good as he thinks he is and this is not bashing him this is you know this is just me doing an honest reaction to the video pretty much and i want to put in some of my intake, you know, use do some of my input on the video. I don't have any of his clips. I don't have any of that. But like I said, videos in the description if you wanted to check that out. But he wanted to say that Teferi's protection is a little overplayed, and I can almost agree that this is a very well played. Uh, protection spell it you know until end of turn your life total can't change and you gain protection from everything all permanents you control phase out exile it at when it resolves this is the in the way he put it in the way he describes it it is a uh it's a swing it helps swing the game in different directions and yes i can agree you know when that big uh command the the big commander comes at you and is threatening commander damage and you bounce up you bounce out the game you know, that does do a lot for you. But when a big stompy player is got Crater Hoof and 30 tokens that are, you know, plus 17, plus 17 with Trample, then, you know, that kind of is a detriment to the whole table unless you're at such a high life total that that's what matters the most to you. And he compared to Fierce Protection to Fog. And... It's a very good comparison, but to my credit, to his credit, I don't feel like he, there was a, there's a thing in that grasp when you go to play a fog and it's a, it's a player that's just swinging out all, all of his creatures. And, you know, if there was a fog, then it would just be a, a horrible crackback from all the other players or from one specific one another player so i feel like that is a good you know this that is a good statement you know comparing a fog to 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 fairy's protection now what i don't think is a fair comparison is what the aftermath of each entails so with fog prevent all combat damage that we dealt this turn that's from that's everybody you know that's your all the players that are left in the game from the attacking player which you know could do a lot of good if you're in a more casual game if you're you know you're not playing a little more higher power and for this to be really effective you have to be pretty much in my opinion have to be arch enemy number two because if you're not arch enemy number two after it comes back to you, after you played the fog and, you know, he's, you know, tapped out and he has no way to block and he thought he was going to win the game, then that gives the other two players at the table, if they're that, that, that many people are left at that point, uh, to the chance to then take the reins of that game and then twist it to where they can win, which also gives you know, the chance for you to also do it, but 
if you're not the player as sitting right next to that player, if you're not directly to the left of that player, then I feel like you then put your put your opponents in an ability to win over you. Which with you know, Teferi's protection, you are the only one that is affected by this. You are the only ones whose life total can't change. This is a thing that I think he may have missed. And, you know, that's, if it's just a, you know, undersight, then that's, I completely understand. He's a great content creator. You know, sometimes that's, this is an angle that, you know, sometimes you have to consider when you're playing a game of Commander. Because you're not always going to be able to get that, that one spot where you can play this perfectly and you're able to capitalize on it and win the game after, you know, that one player has knocked out those other two players. So what do you guys think? Am I wrong for thinking that he may have misjudged his, you know, the, the greatness of fog or do you think that, you know, he has do, he has done it perfectly? There is no flaw in the logic. Let me know because I'm really curious to see what other people think. And if he get if you get a hold of this video demo, I really do love your content. I I absorb about 90% of it and you know, the 10% of it it may just be just like the one-off video here and there. But other than that, you know, great content. I love his content. I love his channel. He does, he has made me, you know, consider so many other things as, you know, options as, you know, when it comes to commanders, when it comes to spells, he does a great job. And I'm, I feel like this is just the one thing that I feel like he may have missed. But other than that, you know, he's a, he's a great content creator and I hope that he does see this and he, you know, he does make a video about it because, you know, that's, you know, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to help boost each other up in a way and like i said this is not bashing him i love his content but you know what do you guys think let me know down in the comments below and i will see you guys next time i know this was kind of short but you know it was just something that was on the brain so i wanted to share it with you guys and i will see you guys next time in the graveyard